Hello everyone, in this video we are going to take a look at this automation problem. Uh, so the problem is we have to count this till 10 and we can get error as well here. In that case we have to click on call technician and again the process starts from 0. So we have to make this till 10 and we can have that kind of condition to check in. Okay. So I'll just showcase you here. If you keep clicking on this, it will turn out, it can turn out to error. So if I'll click on this, it will turn back. Now pause this video for a moment. Think about how you will solve this problem and then watch the remaining video for the solution. So a lot of uh, Tosca concepts will come into picture, uh, going to be a very interesting video. So let me fire up my scan here. First I'm going to quickly capture these two values and then we are going to capture the error part as well. Okay, so our scan is loaded. I will I will capture this button zero and I will capture this call technician is zero. Okay. Now I'll just rename this to the obstacle number and uh, here I'll just make this little uh, dynamic we are putting in a wildcard here I'll click on ok and this is 0 id and tag because this number keeps changing so we are not going to take that in this case we can take inner text because the value is not going to change we should be good I'll just save this and I will close this okay now I'll just quickly uh, scan once the error is coming to picture just to validate what all changes it can happen okay and we'll see if we really need that or not because I think we'll be able to work it out without that as well so we'll just take a look into that so I'll click on this uh, notice the title has changed here so we have to handle that as well but I'll just capture the error part here okay and here in this if I see it is taking ID I can take inner text also because this is going to be similar so I'm just removing ID and taking the inner text but if I go into the title page it is taking error 6497 okay maybe I can use it like this okay and I'll click on okay and I'll save this okay and I'll close this and I'll move this back to the initial state by clicking on call technician okay now our modules are ready uh, we'll get started with uh, formulating our test case so as you guys already know that there is no for loop kind of thing in uh, Tosca so we have to handle that in a different way so let's think about the approach so the first thing is we have to click on this button 10 times okay so you'll be able to see something called repetition here in case you are not able to see you can right click go to column chooser and if it is not displayed here it will be displayed here you can just double click on that and that will give you the repetition option here however if you will try to mention the repetition here it is not going to work out because it works in case of folder that's how it is designed so you just need to create one folder probably I'll just put the obstacle number here and I'll put this inside this that's all you got to do now here whatever the number of repetitions we want we can mention so in our case we wanted to count it to 10 so I'll put it 10 here okay now I want to click on this so I'll just pass click statement okay now since there is no loop existing here we have to understand that how are we going to handle the scenario once the error comes into picture okay so we can use recovery scenarios for that okay so basically what we can do is whenever recovery scenario is going to come into picture it needs to so whenever this script is going to fail it's going to go to that particular recovery scenario which is going to click on call technician that's how we can easily handle this otherwise we can use a looping statement as well to handle this but that will create uh, you have it is going to be very complex because uh, you have to handle a lot of things in that but in this case it is going to be very easily manageable okay now one thing is I can probably use this only I don't need to bother about error that is going to be part of the failure so how I can handle using this particular module only let me right click and jump to the module so one thing which I need to take care of is in this case our title was Tricentis obstacle course while in this particular case the title was error okay 
Now, in case you come across these kind of scenarios, you can always use regular expressions. How do we do that? I'll just go here and uh, you use curly brackets reg x and put square brackets and then whatever you want to enter you can put wildcard entry as well here and then you need to enter the pipe symbol and then whatever is the other value so we'll take error in our case so what this is going to do is this is going to take care of the different uh, both the different titles in one particular module okay so this can be easily managed here in case you are trying to validate like what is the right syntax you can always go to your test case go to any of these elements and click on this and just uh, put curly brackets reg and this is going to display all the details as to how you need to use the regular expression okay so just a quick hack for getting the uh, uh, the proper syntax and all okay so we are good here this is going to be able to handle both of the scenarios okay now this is going to click 10 times but we are going to turn get error here so we have to handle that using recovery scenarios okay now what i'll do is i'll right click and i'll click on this and i can create a recovery scenario ideally it's good if i create a folder so that it looks more structured so i'll create a folder and i'll probably put this inside this and inside this i'll right click and click on these three dots and you'll get this option create recovery scenarios collection you can click on that and then again right click and click on this recovery scenario okay now what i'm going to do is i'm going to put i'll copy this particular step and i'll paste it inside this and as you probably already know that recovery scenario gets activated only in case of uh, failure so whenever your test script fails it is going to activate this in case you are not aware and want to know more about it, I have a dedicated video regarding recovery scenario. So you can check that out. That is going to give detailed explanation. I've covered end to end about recovery scenario. So anyways, once you have created the recovery scenario, it can be set up at different levels uh, depending on how you want to retry. So it's already set up at test case level that is the by default, but you have the option to change it at different levels. In our case, we want the entire script to again run 10 times. So I am going to leave it at uh, test case level. So in case this is different, please make sure that this is uh, aligned to what I am setting it up here. And in case of failure, I just need to click on call technician. So what I can do is I can just mention click statement here. Okay. Now uh, you might have got confused that why I have uh, updated the title here because in this particular usage, if it turns to error, then the title is getting changed so we are handling that in this particular case okay now in order to run the script two things needs to be uh, set up correctly one thing is your recovery scenario needs to be activated in your global settings if it is not go to your settings and set up a uh, recovery scenario okay now if this particular business requirement is going to like pop out probably three errors or maybe four errors that particular number of retries should be available in your uh, global settings okay now you can handle that in your script as well so if i go to my script i go to test configuration you can add a parameter here as well in terms of the number of uh, sorry in this in this place you can add a parameter here uh, as to number of retries so if i put uh, recovery scenario probably it, it's called as test step retry or something so you will get that option here and if you want to increase that specifically for this particular script you can do that so that's how you override the global settings but that needs to be enabled there is a so let me remove this okay now in order to run the script since it is having recovery scenarios it is not going to work in your scratch book because this is what the functionality is so i have to drag and drop this particular case into execution list so i'll drag and drop this thing into the execution list uh, because the recovery scenarios only work in case of execution list and i'll try to run this and see if it works so my application is in the same state let me try to run this
I have a lot of contents around Tosca. So in case you want to check out my channel, do check it out. And uh, okay, our execution started. It clicked first one came, then error. Now your script is going to fail and then recovery scenario is going to get called out. So that's why it is taking some time because it is failing and then it is looking where to move next. And then it is going to click on call technician and again the whole script is going to get started again. So it is clicked on call technician and again you see it has started. So till it is not going to reach 10 it is going to keep retrying. Uh, we'll wait for the entire script to complete obviously so that uh, we can validate that this automation problem is solved correctly. So this was the second error instance. Now it is going to click on call technician again. As you can see it has done. Now again it is going to count. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And you see our automation problem is solved correctly. So whenever you do that you will be able to see a pop up like this. Uh, that's it. We have covered this particular automation problem. In the next video, I'm going to cover more of these. Uh, and I already have a lot of these already uploaded on my channel. So do check that out. Uh, thank you very much. Do like, share and subscribe and have a great day. Bye-bye.